we're kicking ass right now. We're looking all right. We're looking good. That's, I don't know how we're sounding, but. I know we sound good. We always sound good. Sound is never the fucking problem with us. I fucking like Ric Flair. You look like you look like that fucking uh, <laughs> from uh, Jurassic Park. The <laughs> there's there's the thumbnail. <laughs> is that what it sounded like? <laughs> that like you're just just jizz in that guy's <laughs> fucking face. Sounds like you're farting. Under- oh! Sound you're making sounds like the farts underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Bubbles are shooting. I do look exactly like that fucking Dilophosaurus. <laughs> Dilophosaurus. <laughs> I don't even think that's a real dinosaur. I think they made it up for the movie. They might have. I think so. I think There's so. There's a fun fact for you. It's a dinosaur movie. How do we know if they're even real? That's true. I think they're government. I think it's big museum. Big, yeah, I think so too. Big museum. All that funding. Yep. They're not turning it down. Yeah, we're digging up dinosaur bones all the time. Yeah. Where Where do you think we get all the fucking fuel from? It's fossil fuel, dipshit. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Exactly what it is. I pump dinosaur (laughs) juice into my car. (laughs) Dead dinosaur juice. (laughs) Dead dinosaur juice into the car. Thank God for those dinosaurs. They sacrificed themselves so that we could power our motor vehicles. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Travelers Day. Jeff and Sean here once again after a two-week break. We heard you. We heard you all. We're back. We're back. We uh, had a busy two weeks. Yeah, it's been busy. We football games. Movies and and shenanigans. All kinds of shenanigans. Life gets in the way. It is a busy time for me. The kids are all in sports. They got practices. Bella's in two two sports. Yeah, she's playing softball. Softball, and she does cheerleading. So it's a fuck, man. Hey, props to Bella. She's gotten better from week one. She's almost on beat when it comes to that one cheer. Yeah, she got her mother's rhythm. Oh, boy. <laughs> we're, we're not going to lie. We're going to put it right on out there. Yeah, it's... Kayla's not here to defend herself, but uh, she knows. But, oh, Kayla, Kayla's the first one to tell you that she she stays in her box. Yeah, she does she the mom dance. She uh, she gets out the fucking six shooters, and she yeah. fucking... <laughs> <laughs> she's pointing to the side, up but, to the sky. Where Jeff will bust out Michael Jackson still to this day. I try. My back's getting a little tight. What's you still though? Kick the legs the right way. You when you 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 still can move a little bit. They don't get up as high as they used to. Well, you, <laughs> I have no dexterity in my legs. Yeah. I you you're the one person <laughs> I'll never have to worry about kicking me in the face unless no. I'm laying down. <laughs> <laughs> Your shins. <laughs> Maybe know. that's what I'll work on. I feel like people need to like uh, you know take time to uh, you know build themselves and maybe have a plan. Maybe work on something they're not good at for the year. I think I'll maybe take this year to practice my roundhouse kicks. What do you think? I'm gonna come down here and have your one leg tied up and pulling the string like Van Damme. I yeah, I, I think I need you <laughs> to like to throw coconuts. <laughs> To pull the fucking ropes. I need you to, like, throw coconuts at my abs <laughs> while you're stretching my legs out. <laughs> uh, what, what did you guys do last night? Jeff had to work out, man. He's, he's still tied he's up in the training. basement. <laughs> tied up in the basement right now. Looks like a weird sex dungeon down there. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, that's my dojo. Just I'm Jeff a... trying to throw high kicks. I wish I could. And Jeff's Jeff's trying out a new look. What do you got this here? week? Yeah, I'm the old. Uh, I'm the guy. You know, we're getting older now, so I, this is like my uh, my locker room, my YMCA locker room uh, 
attire. So that you know what? Pro wrestlers. Oh, this goes back to pro wrestling with me. Always. But, but if you ever look at like old pro wrestlers, they always had towels around their necks. Yeah. It's because their necks were broken, basically. And they had, <laughs> and that's they put the towel on there like it's a, a neck brace. And they always like held on to them. Yeah. Like real tough. Just for support. Now I get it. I understand now that I'm older. Tougher than a two dollar steak. Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Put some ketchup on that <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> so, you, there's not enough <laughs> marinade in the world to keep that steak, get that steak tender. <laughs> you can beat it with a hammer. It's still <laughs> that's just tough chew, steak. Chew it on rubber. Can chew it. So we did another movie night tonight. So it was, we're we're soaking up the last days of summer here. Yeah, as, tonight was as much as we nice can. Night. No wind. It was nice. It was Beautiful. it was hot. Almost. Hot. It was, it was a little sticky out there, huh? And, until <laughs> until about uh, what ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, when we finally got done watching Mad Max. Well, I took a little nap. <laughs> yeah, you were sawing logs for a while. You know, it's one of those movies that I I enjoy it, but if you're not like at peak wake, you know, it doesn't wake you up. My heart was racing. No, it's it because it drags at points. Like we talked about Wolverine, Deadpool, and Wolverine not yeah. having a drag point. I don't know. There's not many drag points in that movie. I mean, you got the lull. There's the lull in Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> There's a couple lulls in that eh, movie. Not a lot though. I'll give it to him. The you know when they're just driving. Insane. Uh, yeah, for three hours. Yeah. I can't believe we watched that whole movie. I can't believe it either. There was a point, because everybody left. It was just yeah. me and you out there. Well, Bella came out, because she's a, she's a champion. Yeah, she was doing the exact same thing I was. Yeah, I threw a couple logs on the fire, and I was like... There's a couple points where I was like, all right, let's just go inside and do this podcast. But uh, no, I had to finish I it. I was committed. I was committed. Well, you you had you had a little aiming juice in you today. Yeah, a little bit. It was good. Good times. No, it was it was nice. Had the lady over and one of the girls. That was cool. Yeah, they enjoy that. They would have enjoyed Beetlejuice more last week. Yeah, yeah, we had to shut that shit down. Yeah, that was <laughs> my daughter had a little tantrum because was... it was supposed to be her movie night. Yeah, that's what I, t- I told her this week. Mm-hmm. Like, as soon as I got to the house, I'm like, "No, you got you got to choose last week." No, I didn't. You go, yeah, you did. Oh yeah, she's done. No, my mom chose. That was that a good for learning me. experience for her. My mom chose that movie for me. Like, no, <laughs> that's the one she wanted. That's what that's the one they all wanted. They talked about it earlier. That's why I thought about it. I was like, "What are we gonna watch?" And they're like, "Oh, Despicable Me 4. Which was fun. I I enjoyed it. I laughed. I giggled. I had two chuckles in it. Really? I thought it was a steaming pile of shit, buddy. That bad, huh? Yeah. It's you can <laughs> a steaming pile of shit. Like, like not even. Uh, it was okay. No, a it, steaming it, pile of shit. The guy's a giant cockroach. I ruined the movie for everybody. God. Damn it, Sean. No spoilers. Oh, this is, I'll spoil the shit out of this movie. Gru's a fucking narc. And, <laughs> and he gets put into witness protection. I chuckled. Because I'm a child at heart. You're I, just a cunt. <laughs> I, well, I think it was we were halfway through Beetlejuice. Yeah. And, and I was settled in and yeah. enjoying it. I haven't watched Beetlejuice in a long time. I haven't either. That's why. And I'm super pumped about. uh, Full disclosure, I'm super pumped and scared to go see it. I hope it's not like Dumb and Dumber (laughs) Two, where it's just been so long. I, from what I've heard, it's good. Okay. And that's coming from your mother-in-law and my mother. So take that for what for what what it's worth. Yeah, for what it is. But she said it it plays good homage to the original. Okay, I love Tim Burton. Yeah, and Michael Keaton's still doing it. 
I like to see that. Let's go. I heard he's changing. Is that true? He's changing his name. What is? I saw something. I did not see that. I don't know. Was he changing it too? I don't know. How can you change Mike? Michael Keaton changing his name would be like. Uh, that's not his real name. Like he changed it. That's his name, his acting name. Yeah. So I wonder if maybe he's going back to I don't know Buford Pennington or whatever <laughs> fuck it was. <laughs> it's it's weird looking at guys that we watched as kids, and if you think about it, you're like, God, he was so old back in the '80s. And no, dude was. We were just looking at a picture of the cast of Cheers. Yeah. And their ages. And their age. And they're like 33, 34, 35. And <laughs> like, the, there's no way that dude's 35. And the oldest guy was 58. And you're like, no, that dude was 70 on the show. Yeah, because even when he was Batman, Bruce Wayne, he, motherfucker looked 40. Yeah. He was probably, was he even 30? I don't think so. No, I doubt it. God damn, bro. Yeah. Oh, boy. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the. This is what I want to be doing. Look at how limber this cat is. <laughs> this is why I need that stretch training. <laughs> My well, God. I'm going to come down here. You're going to be licking your own crotch. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> Was that, that Will Ferrell Follow skin? Follow your dreams, everybody. <laughs> that Will Ferrell skin where he did the uh, yoga for all the years and finally reached sucking his own dick. <laughs> uh, That's a good one. Look it up. It's on the internet. Yeah, Google it. Guys, I'll show you how to do it. Just let me enjoy it. <laughs> what would it be your actor name? Like, if you had to change your name, would it be like Vin Diesel? No. Would, uh, mine would be Diesel Vin. <laughs> Diesel Vincent? Yeah, I think so. Dees Vincent? Dees Vincent, yeah. <laughs> My name would be Walker Paul. <laughs> oh, let's make a movie. <laughs> and we'll, we'll call it... The slow and the, the, the slow and the man, yeah. <laughs> man, we'll get to it later. Yeah, the slow and the well, maybe <laughs> the slow and the procrastinators. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the oh. we'll race tomorrow. There's always yeah. a race tomorrow. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll go pick that up tomorrow. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Ah. I'll go to what was the uh, line, the spoon engine line or whatever it was. Oh, well, they needed three spoon engines. Yeah, what was who? Hector. 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 White boys work fast. Hector's Hector's running three spoon engine, whatever. Running three Honda Civics with yeah. spoon engines. Yeah, it'd be a, a Motec system exhaust. Yeah, and we'd be like, yeah, but ours <laughs> is still stock. I mean. <laughs> I got I got an air filter on there. Oh, dude, and the stickers too. I got a K and N air filter on there. K and N air filter. When you were a kid, that's all you wanted—that air filter and an exhaust. Yeah, because you wanted the cool look under your hood. That big if ass. If you air opened filter. the hood and you saw that air filter, like, my this God. car's fast. Fast. Look at that thing. And if they had the that uh, thing sucks. If they had the strut bar across the top. Oh yeah, I had that too. God damn. In the we lived the life. In oh the yeah. Batmobile. Car that never left the driveway. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I could have been an extra in one of those movies. Those doors on that thing were so fucking heavy. Yeah, I had a what was it a two thousand one Acura Integra with Lamborghini doors. It was a ridiculous. Shaved handles. Yeah. So when the battery died, you couldn't get into the fucking thing. It was <laughs> I'd stored for the winter, and then I couldn't get into it. I had to break into my own car. Yeah, there was. It was one of those ones where it was a, a great purchase at the time, but it wasn't a well thought out purchase. No. Yeah, I just I wanted to be in the Fast and Furious movies. Too Fast Too Furious came out. I was bumping Ludacris. I had what I had four twelves in the back. I had a PlayStation two with three three TVs in it. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking And you still sold that motherfucker for well, yeah, half of what I bought it for. Well, yeah, <laughs> but it did sit for, I mean. I didn't put any miles on it. <laughs> yeah, well, it needed, it definitely needed. But I bought it at the, you know, the the peak when of every, the tuner. Yes, yeah. You, I remember when you got it because Asian Dave had just 
four pounds of jizz in his pants when he saw that car. <laughs> he emptied out every ounce of jizz in his body. The Vin Diesel and, fuel? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AI is great. AI is you. taking over. Did you see the one with the rock where he's just eating rocks the yeah. whole thing? <laughs> like four minutes straight? <laughs> it, it's... <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm happy about AI and I'm sad because when the first AI movie comes out, it's over for everybody. Like screenwriters are just gonna be out of. Oh yeah, really? Well, we got this concept to put it in this thing, and they generated a full script and the movie. Yeah. Guess what? You don't even have to act. Anymore. And the people. Yeah. What's crazy is there's uh, so they like AI generated like hot fucking chicks, and then they have Instagram, so it's not even a real girl. And probably some fucking oh, greased up, sweaty dude dipping waffles in a hot honey pot. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, hell yeah, brother. You've been looking at my window again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've been seeing you, bro. Sneaking I mean, when house. you drizzled it on your chest, I was a little uncomfortable, <laughs> but I kept watching. I'm not going to lie, because uh, I just wanted to see what you were going to do next. <laughs> I was like, oh, where else is the honey going? <laughs> you don't want to know. Oh, really? A little drizzle? Shaft was stuck to my nuts my for God. days. Then you waffle sandwich. <laughs> oh, smash-turbating. <laughs> smash-turbating. <laughs> we take two all cans and just go, go, go to, to town. town. yourself. So. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. That's... One of the funniest lines of that movie. Oh, dude, masturbating. I totally forgot about that shit. <laughs> oh my god! Just take two hall cans. Just go down so. Just ravage your downstairs. <laughs> I wonder what it's like. I don't want to be that rough trade with my wang. I just I don't need anything that's gonna make my cock look smaller. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The gut I feel does, like uh, the gut doesn't just it does it for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't need those big Hulk hands. I'm like, ah, can't even beat off now because I'm sad. <laughs> just, oh, <laughs> won't even get hard. It's just fucking wind sock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need like what, I need back. like those those finger hands that people put on cats now and shit. <laughs> That's what I need. I need to just. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, look at how big you are. Oh, you big boy. <laughs> oh, who's a big boy? <laughs> who's a great big boy? That's what I need. I think we did something just now. Let's get those finger, finger hands. <laughs> those are the picture. Those are the dick pics you need to send. Right. <laughs> look how big it is. <laughs> I'm holding it with two hands. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> It's going to happen. Now. Someone's oh, done it already. Oh, oh, I'm sure. It's like the people when they take pictures of the fish. You know, hold it out here. Hold it out, yeah. Because it looks gigantic. Finger hands. <laughs> <laughs> Just petting the tip. <laughs> Let me get this coffee. Oh, God. <laughs> coffee talk. Make sure you buy a small coffee mug, too, so it makes it look like it's... Yeah, just have like a miniature... Like set up and, and just, you're big dog <laughs> like Godzilla just comes running uh, through. <laughs> oh my god, it's a world killer. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is what we think about at one o'clock in the morning, folks. Yeah, it's what we do. I'd have just a you know a bunch of action figures just like oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> There's your shoes. There's the next shoe. Oh, just a it's big like shadow just, of a dog. Just a shadow of a dog and a bunch of <laughs> scared villagers. We nailed it. The, the, the tongue is the dog. <laughs> it's all scared villagers oh, around yeah. it. Oh, look out. <laughs> oh, no. Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> oh, but yeah. I was just watching the blooper reels from Anchorman. Yeah. Where he's like, I feel that. Doesn't it feel like a cock to you? No, it feels like your leg. <laughs> I was pleasuring myself thinking of Mrs. Butterworth. 
Jesus. She got me there like the express train. <laughs> uh, Big bang pow. <laughs> Who was that, Will Ferrell? Yeah. It was just a river of ejaculate. <laughs> oh, Is Miss Buttersworth still a thing? Yeah. Okay, she, I didn't know. She, they got rid of all our she, other... She didn't get... Cause canceled. Because she was a white lady. Who? Mrs. Butterworth is a white lady. I did not know that. Well, she's maple syrup colored. <laughs> but... It's true. <laughs> I guess I never thought of it. But it's based on a grandmother. Pleasure myself <laughs> thinking of Mrs. Butterworth. She got me there like the express <laughs> train. Big. That it was... was like lava raining down on the <laughs> poor villagers of Pompeii. Oh, no. Except it was a river of frothy ejaculate. <laughs> uh, and that didn't make the cut? <laughs> they couldn't make it through the scene. <laughs> Paul Rudd is laughing so hard. Oh, I'm laughing hard right now. His fucking veins are popping in his head. He's just trying. He was trying so, so hard. hard. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Even those scenes, I love those outtakes from Eastbound and Down. Yeah. Oh my God, Will Ferrell. <laughs> His improv on the scenes that don't make it are always just fucking comedy gold. Also, great one of the greatest songs ever written, Bat Fight. Bat Fight. Circle it and circle it. <laughs> they made a music video out of it. <sighs> Ashley Shea for BMW. Woo! Evie, <laughs> I say no. Let the boy watch. <laughs> I love how you just had that right there. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I had uh, the lady and I watched uh, Rapture Palooza. Have you ever seen that What's one? that about? It's I about, don't... so it came out a while ago, and it's it's got a really good cast. I mean, Anna Kendrick, Craig Robinson, and a bunch of other guys and gals in it. But it's what happens to the people after the rapture. Like, everybody gets taken up into heaven, and the people that weren't good enough... Okay, yeah, I was going to ask you what, are, what the hell is it about. ...are doomed to stay on Earth and deal with the plagues that happen. So, there's, like, locusts that, like, basically a uh, grasshopper with, like, a human face, and they just always say, suffer. Yeah. Like, Suffer! <laughs> And the crows all of a sudden can start talking. Yeah. And all they do is just talk shit. <laughs> so it's, suck my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to <laughs> suck my cock. Don't forget the balls. And, and, just, and then it rains blood and then giant rocks fall from the sky. And it's hilarious. If you haven't it's seen it. It's a weird concept. It's a super weird concept. But Craig Robinson ends up playing Satan, and Anna Kendrick plays a girlfriend of a guy whose dad works for Satan, like he's one of the beastly guards. Yeah, <laughs> and the, and that's Rob Corddry, you know, uh, vi- the Violator. Yeah. Okay. So he and he plays the role perfect because it's right in his wheelhouse. Yeah. It's, it's, there's just certain scenes of the movie you, where you're just like uncomfortable, at, like watching Eastbound and Down. Like you get uncomfortable, yeah. like with what he's saying, because you can <laughs> yeah. see, because Anna Kendrick's playing basically a virgin. And the shit the guy's saying to her, she's just like, no, ew. <laughs> like you can see how uncomfortable yeah. she is. And she plays the role perfectly. And, I just want I want to see outtakes from that movie, just to see how many times she broke. Yeah, because there's Craig Robinson's like he he plays the role so of a scumbag so good. He's like, did you, <clears throat> did you trim your bush? She's like, yep. He's like, woo, trim bush. <laughs> He's like, you know what we should do? We should fuck at these these. She just go over here and fuck at these bushes. <laughs> She's like, no, I don't do that. No. And then they're trying to basically capture him to stop the rap. Yeah. Then they kill Jesus on accident. Oh. He's coming from the sky. 
in the Bible, he comes from the sky on a white horse and smites Satan back to hell and blah, blah, blah. Well, Craig Robinson knew that was going to happen, as, so he had, like, a laser made. Yeah. And the sky opens up, and, like, he's coming down, and Anna Kendrick's boyfriend hits the button and fucking lasers him. <laughs> what? <laughs> so it, I, I, feel, it, I have to watch this now. It, it, what? It, what the fuck is going on? It, it, he ends up killing Jesus, or they end up killing Jesus, and then God comes, who is Ken Jong. Yeah. And he's a dick. It's hilarious. He's like, oh, oh, you made a mistake. It's only something I've been working on for 4,000 years. Whoops. <laughs> and then, then him and Satan fight, and it's hilarious. Because Ken Jong doing... Well, don't ruin it for me. Ken Jong doing karate. Come on. What do you mean? He's, he's doing karate in the movie. It's hilarious. Yeah, well, he got fucking 18 hole-in-ones. <laughs> That's Kim Jong Un. <laughs> That's South Korean Prime Minister. Who are you talking about? Ken Jong. Okay, I thought you were Kim Jong Un. I don't think he's in that movie. <laughs> well, he was in Team America, World Police. So I'm Ronery, <laughs> Mister Ronery. Jesus, that is the greatest round of golf though in Eight. human history. Can't be First beat. time golfing, 18 hole in ones. Unbelievable. It's too bad he retired. Hits the, hits the <laughs> ball and just 35 guys. Oh, it's in the hole. <laughs> no, it's not. It's right in front of me. <laughs> no, that's no, my ball. I dropped it. <laughs> What'd you shoot today? An 18. <laughs> 18. Yeah, just retire. It's not going to get any better. It can't get any better than that. Yeah, you. It, you can't. It's no. It's, it, it, it's that's it. That's it. That's the low score. If he was in a tournament, he would win it by a hundred and thirty-five <laughs> strokes. It's a lot of strokes. <sighs> Arm be really tired. Fuck yeah, I would. <laughs> Fucking shoulder. Oh, Eighteen strokes. <laughs> so since we uh, last talked. You've got another new job. Yeah. Maybe two, right? No, no. You started at the one place. Okay. Now I'm at another. Yeah. Okay. Just- yeah. So I basically started and the first day I started, I put in my two weeks. Basically. Yeah. I worked there two weeks now. I got a new job. The county man. Easy work. Easy money. So once again, please... Follow the signs. Don't drive 70 miles an hour through yeah, the Yeah, don't hit me. Zone. Well, I'm carrying your yield and stop signs. I would like to keep doing this podcast, and I kind of need him because he's the anchor. What? I fly off the handle on random stuff. Like, we won't talk about the debate. <laughs> no, we don't need to. Enough people who know can talk about it. Can't play them out. I'm no, I gotta sit here. No, That's we got okay. the got the basket of doom down here. Yeah, you wanna go in you wanna dive deep <laughs> basket of doom? <clears throat> I mean you could pour yourself like a half of that Long Island. What is that? Where is it at? <laughs> That's an actual drink. Is it? Yeah. I'm scared. No, that was good. That one was decent. I mean, besides being 145 years old. I was going to fill this up, and I was like, I better not. I better just taste this. No, just sip. What do you mean? You got a long day tomorrow of daiquiris and jack-off magazines. (laughs) (laughs) Nudie magazine day. (laughs) It's not horrible. It's not great. Well, it's compared to what I was just drinking. Like my palate's all. Mm -hmm. I'm used to orange goodness, and now I have Long Island. Long Island in there. It's not even like good Long Island. Yeah, what was that? Captain Morgan. 
I don't think they make that anymore. I don't know why. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Not a sponsor. <sighs> but I, bad decisions is. Yep. It's tangy. Damn it. I forgot it again. What? We do have sponsors. Remember the boxes? Um, No. Roto wipe. Roto wipe? <laughs> yes, Roto wipe. Tell for, me more. For those who can't afford a bidet, <laughs> but it's like getting peanut butter off a shag carpet when you're wiping your ass. That's the Roto wipe. You hook it to your toilet seat, and it's a brush that spins. Oh. And gets all the nasty goodness out of your booty. Do you have sure. one of these? I've never heard of the Roto wipe. I have a box. Okay, bring it. Bring it next week. I will. I, I got to throw it in the trunk of my car tomorrow, so I have it in there. What else you got? Um, The dog butler. What's the dog butler? It's a uh, serving tray that attaches to your dog that has pockets to hold glasses and stuff. Oh. <laughs> and also uh, the cheese printer. What's the cheese printer? The cheese printer prints your face onto a slice of an American cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the cheese printer. What every kid wants. Made by who? Who is it? Uh, Schmedco. Schmedco? <laughs> Fucking cheese printer. Uh, well, and also, you, this podcast is sponsored by Kicks and Canvas underscore 223. <sighs> if you want custom shoes done Shameless plot. by a custom man, mm. custom made, custom paid man. Get yourself a Jurassic Park. Look at how Fucking. the see all the money he's making. Now he's wearing scarfs. Yeah, this isn't a blanket. It's a three hundred dollars <laughs> scarf, bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah! Fuck Burberry, bougie. And then uh, head over to uh, Small Town Infamous, where you can get rad T-shirts designed by this sexy bearded man. That has nothing to lose and everything to gain. <laughs> I've been gaining. Yeah, me too. I got to. Uh, I got plenty to gain. The comfort, the comfort level is turned up again, so I need to uh, stop eating like a fifteen-year-old idiot. Well, we talked about it before. It's impossible to uh, keep in shape in old Wisconsin. <sighs> rough it's, it's rough. just barbecue 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 yeah, there's only so many brats you can eat barbecue barbecue beer barbecue last week bonfire barbecue brats beer burgers last week we did the chopped cheese logan logan the dog had half a bowl yeah he had his face buried in it <laughs> yeah, a for a lot little bit. of chopped cheese <laughs> wonder why he still has the farts oh yeah that dog they fart. They're rough, dude. It's rough. Je- Jeff's got some toxic bombs that he drops. I've watched him clear dance floors before. But Logan, holy shit, dude. It's he, another level. He farted today, and I could taste it. It was so thick <laughs> that you had to chew the air. Yeah. It was like, yep. Uh-huh. Ketchup and onions. <laughs> it definitely was not ketchup and onions. <laughs> it was Alpo and eggs. Alpo and eggs, baby. Softest coats in the game. But Blade doesn't have those. What? Those farts like Logan does. Oh, he does. Does he? Oh, yeah. Little fuckers. I think Blade just go, walks away to do his He's business. He's a gentleman. Logan just Logan's sits, a savage. He sits in the middle of the kitchen. You're going to eat it. He, he probably went in around the corner, and he watched you... And he's no, like, ha ha. He sits, he fucker. sits down and looks at you. Mm-hmm. And you can see he's got, you can see his little brain working. He's waiting for it to hit you. Yeah. It's like when I fart and I'm like, I kind of have a little smirk. You know, those farts Dude, that night where you smell it first. <laughs> and then you're like, you kind of like laugh a little bit. Kayla's like <laughs> a couple times. I'm like laughing. Kayla's like, what's so funny? 
I'm like, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> that night. Oh, you sick fuck. That night we were DJing, you just go watch this. <laughs> you walk out to the middle of the dance floor, packed dance floor. Like, elbows bumping. And all of a sudden, it was empty. And it was just <laughs> Jeff on the dance floor by himself, <laughs> spinning in circles. No, I left. I farted and left. I bounced. And then someone was like, oh, my God, who farted? <laughs> <laughs> and then the shit cleared out. And then I was like, well, it's like a little test. I always say, man, I don't miss. I miss it and I don't miss it. What, doing the DJ shit? Yeah. I, I miss, like, you know, having the fun that we had, but fuck the loading, the unloading, the <clears throat> drunk idiots asking for the same song 33 times. Yeah. It's it's hard now, though, when you, like, were a DJ and you can kind of control the music and play whatever, like, you want. Like, that's yeah. fun. And so now, like, when I go somewhere and someone else is DJing, I'm like, fuck. Especially when they suck. I'm like, oh. How many times, I just want to, like, pick the music. How many times are you going to play Shabuzi? We oh, stop. I, we stop with that fucking song, Al. Yeah, just play Tipsy like a real man. Just play Jaquan. Yeah, like, or mix it. Go. Mix it in. Like, do it. Do the remix. Like, everybody's got a computer now. Remix it. Put, put that beat and put Shabuzi over the top of it. Boom. Kayla was telling me that like Dolly Parton's his godmother, and I was like, "Isn't like Dolly Parton's Miley Cyrus? Is she just like everyone's godmother?" And yeah, yeah? I think so. Is that how it goes? Yeah, Miley I don't Cyrus is godmother. If, I don't know if Do- Dolly has kids, so she's just everyone's godmother. Yeah, come one, come all. Yeah, I love DP. Dude, she's on that new post album. Yeah, and the song's actually really good. She's still fucking, she's still got her fastball, huh? A little bit. I mean, a couple, a little speed. She's, she's, she's not still 90, there. you know? Yeah. They're in 90s anymore. It's like high 80s, which is still yeah. fast. She's got a good cutter. Mm-hmm. She's versatile. Yeah. She's not going to get you nine, she's not going to get you nine innings, but she'll give you a solid five. <laughs> there's a lot, of, there's a lot of uh, depressing music right now. Because, like we said, you know, everybody, no matter what generation you grow up in, you're like, oh, the best generation of music was this. The best generation of music was this. Honestly, the 70s had, rock-wise, it's nothing but fucking, there's classics. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's shit. But the 80s was the hair bands, and there was some that were Mm -hmm. decent. Like people that like are like, oh no, you need to go see Cinderella. There, I'm like, no, I don't. Play your one hit, play your one song, and, we'll and they probably make you chant for it. Yeah, encore. Yeah, I'm not waiting for nobody's fool. <laughs> <laughs> but I, why can't bands just? Why can't they just? Can we be done with the encores? Just play the set and then leave. Why do you got to make me beg? I uh, went and saw Hootie. Did you have to have to chant for an encore to fucking no. do the vowel song? <laughs> no, uh, I believe I can't. They the show was really good because they covered some of he did some of Darius. Is record. it the actual like whole band or yes. was it okay? Yes, it wasn't any like extra bullshit. Yeah, instead of just him going back and calling it Hootie. Yeah, no, it was who the fuck is Hootie? just the name and of the why boy. is he blowing fish i don't <laughs> strong jaw on the boy but uh do you like fish sticks <laughs> but like then like they did the uh like a regular set that they like all came up and did like an acoustic little couple songs and they went back to their instruments yeah right and then they played hold my hand and everybody was like yay and, my, and at that point where it's like all right we saw what we needed to see let's get the fuck out of here we're really? not staying for the encore Alpine Valley mm-hmm. is. I've never been there for a concert, bro. It's a fucking valley. It, like legitimately, yeah. it's a ninety degree downslope. <clears throat> there was hammered people rolling, rolling down the hill. <laughs> I 
How do you get out of there? Some people get stuck. We we had to stop. I had to catch a breath. Yeah. Like it was like legit. That's crazy. Yeah, I've never been. Yeah. Someone it, else I just ran into said that uh yeah, they went there when they were younger and they just went recently and it was like they're like it's a fucking workout. Yeah. Like I didn't know it was sloped. Yeah. I don't remember it being sloped that much. Yeah, I don't know if the ground's sinking or what, but it is <laughs> like I'll go again, but I'm definitely just getting grass seeds. Yeah. I'll stick closer to the top because you can see everything just fine. And it sound, the sound's great. It echoes beautifully through there. It sounds awesome. But, yeah, you get into the seats, and you're fine because it's flat, pretty much flat there. Yeah. But you're legitimately looking straight ahead, and it's ground. It's one of those kind of slopes going okay. up because it's a, it's a ski hill. Yeah. I can't call it a mountain because it's not a that we don't have mountains in Wisconsin. It is a valley. It's a valley. It's a valley. And it's a, <laughs> it's deep. Like, surprisingly I've just never, deep. I don't know, maybe nothing's really tickled my fancy. I'm not a parrot head. I mean, well, Jimmy yeah. Buffett was there every year. Yeah, you're year. not going to go see Jimmy Buffett. You're not going to go see Fish. And I'm not a Dave Matthews guy. No. And that's mostly what, kind of what plays at Alpine is. Like, it pays the bills. Yeah, like the jam Keeps bands. The yeah, the jam band type deal. Sometimes they have good shows. Sometimes they have Hootie. fish and Hootie. And, <laughs> but it was, and Hootie and the Blowfish. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh. Maybe Hootie and the Blowfish. It should be Darius Rucker and Fish. Ooh, I think we're on to something. Like they open up for Fish? Hootie like, and the Blowfish? No, they combine their powers. So they'll play fish songs, but they'll also play Hootie songs. What if Hootie played fish songs and fish played all the Hootie songs? Whoa. <laughs> Mind explosion. Universe fails to exist. No, it, it's, it's a cool venue, but like I said, man, whole you don't realize the workout getting out. Going downhill is great. Oh, yeah. Going uphill. It's like Walter Payton running that hill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Old thick thighs. It's the hill of doom. Yeah. Well, I got to go. I got to go. At least once. Yeah. I got to experience it. Well, uh, oh, that was. So sad news. We were talking about being DJs. Fat Man Scoop died last week. I saw, it's like he collapsed on stage or something. Damn, that's crazy. So every time we play Be Faithful now. R.I.P. R.I.P. Fat Man Scoop. We lost, uh, we lost one James the, Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. So he's, that's where it gets in the weird territory. So he is like, you know what the, we were talking earlier with the AI? So yeah. he's like giving them full fucking car blanche. So like if they make anything with Darth Vader, they can still use his voice, AI his voice. He like gave them permission or something. Like that's just, I don't know. That's weird though. But like who else could, you can't have Darth Vader without his voice. No. Because you can't have just some guy pretending to be James Earl Jones. It'd or, be like watching The Lion King with someone trying to be Mustafa. Mufasa. Mufasa. That's like when they did, so they had, uh, they changed everybody else's voice when they went to the live action from yeah. the cartoon, but they had to keep James Earl Jones. Like, what are you going to do? You have to. You have to. He's the voice. Him and Morgan Freeman are the most iconic voices of our time. Mm-hmm. They're, I mean, I wish my life was narrated by Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Morgan Freeman. He woke up this morning. <laughs> Sean. Grabbed a blanket, <laughs> held it tight. Actually, I think mine would end up being good for Grimley. Just <laughs> diabetes. Don't eat that. You're gonna get diabetes. <laughs> Don't grab that. Diabetes. <laughs> it pops around the corner. Diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> what about this uh, Lincoln Park shit? We'll I don't see. know. We'll see. I thought they uh, they had a different female singer that I thought was better. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. This fucking what is this? Long Island. What'd you give me? See Captain Morgan. I don't know what just happened. There was like a party in my throat. 
Some people were trying to leave. Some people are still trying to get in. The Jim Burr joke. <laughs> oh yeah, not that way. <laughs> the way you came the way in. The way you came in. No. Uh, what were we talking about? Lincoln, Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. Because it's weird when someone passes. Because yeah. obviously the band still wants to continue. They want to make music. They want to, you know, yeah, still tour. And I get it that Chester's voice was a one of a kind. So and trying to match his tones and his harmonies, you're gonna have to use a female voice just because of how high his voice. Well, plus I don't think like they could just bring in a dude because no. it would just be like. I think it was a smart move to. To do a female. Because, like, yeah. if you just brought a dude in and he tried to, like, copy his voice. Yeah. Kind of like what, I mean, whatever. I mean, Journey did it, right? They brought in the Asian dude and he sounds exactly like he Steve He looks Perry. like Steve Perry, too, though. That's is so- he more and more? I mean, he's, is he, like, the Asian version? Oh, yeah. For sure. It's just weird. But people get over it. Like, yeah. dude, who's left of Leonard Skinner? They're still touring. No, Two they're, guys? They're finally done. Oh, are they done? Yeah, they're finally done. But it's like, you know, were people mad once Leonard Skinner started to? No, because it, it became more of a tribute. Well, maybe that's what this will be. Like, people are, like, outraged. No, they're it's putting like, out they're gonna put out albums. Oh, so they're going to do new stuff. Yeah. Okay. Which, once again, we'll see. Yeah. Like, I'm super glad that Phil and Rex from Pantera are doing their tour with, you know, Charlie and... Zach Wild, but I'm glad they're not putting out an album. Yeah, right. Tour, play the hits. Play the hits. You know, play, do it as a tribute, as it should be. Yeah, you're right about that. I don't think they should be putting. No, they got enough hits. Yeah, you got five albums or four albums. Yeah, you could be fucking just touring for years. Play the same set over and over and over and over again. Throw in a different song every now and then. And be done. And just do it as a tribute. Don't. Make that, new shit. Because then you're going to piss off the uh, true fans. Just like Rome with Sublime. It wasn't Rome with... It was Eric Wilson, the bass player from Sublime, Rome, and two other dudes. Sublime touring now is mm-hmm. Bradley Knoll's son, Jacob, Eric Wilson on bass, and Bud Gaw on drums. How it's Sublime was. It's just Jacob is taking the place of his dad, which I'm... 100% okay with. So it's not Roman? Like, who's Rome? Rome's on his own. So Rome came in to fill in vocals? Yes. Okay. And then now uh, the guy's son is taking yes. over vocals? Okay. Brad, Brad so son. now it's just Sublime? Yes. Okay. So. Because I think they just had a show. My yeah, lady once seen him. Yeah, Sublime with Rome. Off, they're, sh- they're finishing off the tour. That they had booked. Okay. With Rome. So they had certain things they had to stop. They got certain shows that are going to finish off. So are they going to, because that was a tribute thing, right? They weren't putting, were they putting out new shit? They were. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's weird. But now with Jacob, so the interesting story about that too is Brad died when he was 27. Mm-hmm. Jacob is now 27. Oh, that's crazy. So Jacob's like, I think it's my time yeah. to step in my father's role and wish, you know. He sounds just like him. He does. He sounds very close to his dad. That's one of those weird situations. Usually a band like Nirvana or something will hit it big and then maybe the, you know, the Jimi Hendrix, Janis yeah. Joplin. It's very uh, weird and random for a band. The guy died before they even got famous, you know. They were just getting ready to hit. Like, oh, uh, yeah. Like all their music videos, yeah, he wasn't even alive for. It's pretty yeah. crazy. He was like a. Has that ever happened before or again? It's weird, like a band that just hit, and Drowning the guy. Pool. Okay. Oh, yeah. the the guy who counts the four. Yeah, the, the <laughs> original lead singer died on their first tour, like first headlining. Tour. No shit. Died on a bus. Heroin. Heroin. Heron. Damn age, man. Yeah. It's it's depressing and we still got the music, but it's weird like listening to like Jacob, because Jacob sounds a lot like his father. Yeah. Like it's it's really close. 
because he's still got he's got like that same accent his dad yeah. had too when he's saying like there's that california oh yeah like half reggae half he's got that Sky or, yeah yeah Yeah. Let's bring back the ska, guys. Come on. What are we doing here? Ska and pro wrestling are the only true art forms there is. <laughs> is that what you tell yourself before you go to bed? Or it's a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> ska, say. ska and pro wrestling are the only two real art forms left. <laughs> I miss, like, I, yeah, I miss the ska bands. Real Big Fish. Still doing it. Yeah. There's oh. no doubt ever getting back together. Supposedly, they they've played a couple shows. I like I love No Doubt growing up. I mean, I'm trying to think of like other like, I mean, I love the ska you know music. Um, but I'm not really, I like the vibes, but I really don't. The Boss I mean, if I'm being honest, I really don't know too many bands. Yeah, Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. I mean, then you go to the Specials. No and Doubt, that's Sublime. Old school, old, old, yeah. Robot I mean, but there's like rules though to be a ska band. You have to have like a fucking trumpet player, right? You gotta have it's horns. Gotta yeah, have it horns has to have section. horns. And, uh, but it, it doesn't. Not always. It's the bounce. It's how the bounce is in the songs. Uh, ska music was just such a, for me personally, I don't know about for everybody, but it was just such like a vibe. Yeah, it was always a good time. Yeah. It was happy music. Yeah. Like, I'd never, yeah. like, put on fucking Sublime or something and been like, oh, I started crying. I, yeah. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm always like, fuck yeah, bro. The sun is shining. Like, yes. I'm having a good fucking day. Well, think about it. Beer by Real Big Fish has always been yeah. our, one of our drinking songs. Yeah, 100%. And it's just that bounce, <laughs> that vibe, that... We're having a good time. Maybe it's, it is because of all the fucking horns and instruments. Yeah. I don't know what it is about it. Well, you, I mean, save Ferris. Come on. You got to bring them back. That was a good band. <sighs> I'm drawing a blank right now. Uh, what was their hit? They did a couple covers. But uh, they're in the movie 10 Things I Hate About You. Okay. They're the band at the uh, playing at uh, the, the prom. I don't. I have, probably haven't seen that movie since high school. It's all stuff be honest. buried in this <laughs> deep. Yeah. Your music knowledge uh, blows my mind at times. I, well, you know, there's certain things people like. I'll hear a song, and be like, I know this song, and you'll be like, this is this band, blah blah blah. This album came out in like '78. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> uh, it's just I. It's. When You're like Rain Man when it comes to music. Certain God, things, I'm certain gonna things, lie, certain dude. Things, that and movies and all the pro wrestling you can eat. Movies I'm pretty good at. I can pretty much peg them in within like two years. I, I've been I've been testing the lady lately. Yeah. With I'll say a movie quote. Because mm-hmm. like, you got a younger lady too, yeah, you know. I'm like what movie? Because <laughs> we got a definitely yeah. age gap with our ladies. I'm like, what movie is that? And she's getting a lot of them. Yeah. Some of them, she's like, I have no idea. I'm like, well, guess what we're watching? Yeah. That's how I go off the what movies we're watching next. I love the obscure ones that I grew up with, and I would just put them on, and my lady's like, what the fuck is this shit? Like the Dark Crystal or Willow or yeah, <laughs> just diving deep into the depths. Of the movies that were huge when we were kids. And then they remade them, so well, they, they sucked, but <laughs> they had like a Dark Crystal series. Rough. Horrible. Rough. I didn't even watch Willow. because uh, I refuse. It was dog shit. I refuse. I ref- there's certain movies I'll, I won't watch. I just want to remember it as this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's a, I don't need to go back to it. Like the new Ghostbusters. I won't watch it. It was horrible. I won't watch it. I, I sat through the, the, the other new Ghostbusters. I like that one. And well, okay. It was fine. <laughs> I, I liked parts. Yes. Chris Hemsworth stole that movie. Oh, I'm not even talking about that one. Which one are you talking about? The, so the Ghostbusters, the one, I don't even know what the fuck it's called. The one where they kind of, it was an homage and a send off to, uh, who's the guy that died? 
Ramus. Yeah, Harold Ramus. Yes. So they had that one, and then they made another one that just came out. The uh, Frozen Empire or whatever. I thought that was the homage to Harold Ramis. No, that's the second one. So they had the female one, and yeah. then they had the first, the the like send-off one with Paul Rudd, and then there's a second one with Paul Rudd. Oh, that I second saw one. I have never seen him. Was dog shit. I refuse to watch him. I'm sorry. It, it, as much as it, it hurts my soul a little bit. But I did watch, not going to lie, I watched the new Beverly Hills Cop. I did too. It was all right. That, that's, see, this is what, we're, it's bringing it back to Beetlejuice. Yeah. Like, okay, was it too long? Like, was, if they did it right, I'm, I'm not going to get uh, too butthurt about it. Yeah. So I haven't even seen it. But I'm just, I'm scared because of movies like that. Like, whatever. But it, I mean, it is still Tim Burton. It's still, you know, damn near the original cast. Did they have Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin in it or no? No. No one got shot on set? <laughs> no. Nah, bruh. Nah. Nah. Uh, I don't think Gina Davis is working anymore. What do you mean? I haven't seen her in shit since uh, the Jesus long kiss good night. Oh, ho, ho, ho. no, a, she made that pirate deep. movie. Remember that pirate oh. movie that bombed after that pirate movie? She was done. I don't think Cut, she's was made that a movie. cutthroat Island. I think so. Yeah. It was so bad that they just ended there's, her career. There's the long kiss good night. Then cutthroat Island. And that yeah, that like, was, yeah, you're done. She, she was a good actress. Yeah. I enjoyed her. I enjoyed stuff. her. Long Kiss Goodnight was good just because Sam Jackson was in it. Motherfucker. <laughs> what, one of the 5,000 movies that he was in? <laughs> yeah, you forget all the shit he's in. Jesus Christ. It's The Family Guy joke is one of my favorite ones where the dog. it's one of the early seasons and the dog, Brian, goes to be a uh, director in Hollywood and he's directing porn. Yeah. And they're like, and they like are walking in and they're like, oh, I wonder if Sam Jackson's in this movie. Like, shoot over it's like all right sam you're gonna take jenna here and you're gonna... <laughs> yeah i remember like fucking uh true romance he's in it for like five seconds talk about eating ass <laughs> coming, coming to america yeah one of the <laughs> one of the greatest scenes in the movie now that was a movie that missed the second, the second one. one. See, that's what I'm saying, man. I'm scared because they play off the nostalgia. They're like, we're going to bring this back after 20 years. Like Dumb and Dumber 2 sucked. Coming to America sucked. What was the one we just talked about? Um, Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly Hills Cop. Eh, it, it, it was had, okay. It had its moments. I feel like they play too much on the nostalgia. Just make it its own thing. Like, yeah. Continue the story. I feel like they're like, oh, the audience is going to love this because it's a throwback. And it, and it comes off as kind of cheesy and forced. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There really hasn't been a movie I've watched besides Deadpool and Wolverine lately that I've been like, oh, this is this is rewatchable for me. Yeah. Like a higher end movie. Like I've watched movies that no one's ever heard of. That I just happened to find on Prime. Yeah, the fucking whatever Snack. the fuck it thing you were just talking about. Rapture Palooza. Yeah. <laughs> that, That's not on anyone's fucking watch list. No, and it, it should is be. now. It should be. It's Go it's it. a really good movie. I got it's the funny. Fall Guy queued up. Oh, I'm afraid to watch that because I'm used to Lee Majors, the TV show from the eighties. Yeah. I love Lee Majors. It's a three hundred dollar hat, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> His rolling out cold is tremendous. Where he says the same fucking, he writes it on the card, but says the same thing to him. <laughs> I just laugh every time. Hey, good luck out there. Yeah. See you out there. See you out there. And then he opens it and the card says, hey, good luck out there. Welcome to the team. See you out there. there. See you out there. <laughs> If you haven't seen that fucking movie, let's go. What are you waiting for? How Cold is one of those like hidden gems. If you haven't seen How Cold, 
if you haven't seen any of those ski movies from the mid nineties to early two thousands, what else was there? You ski big... school. Oh, yeah, ski school. Okay. Uh, what was it? Uh, Vertical Limit, I think was one of them, or something oh, like with that. With the fucking Chris O'Donnell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that Chris O'Donnell? Yeah, oh yeah, it was. Uh, what happened to Chris O'Donnell? Oh, he's still doing NCIS or whatever. Was that a little cool, Jay? What happened to Chris O'Donnell? <laughs> Batman versus Robin. Batman what do you Robin. mean? That's what happened to Chris O'Donnell. That's what happened to Val Kilmer too. <laughs> Do those Batman movies. That's what happened? Just to Chris rub o- those nipple suits. Tank your career. Oh. I haven't seen George Clooney and shit. Uh, he had a good run after that. Yeah, he did comedy. the oceans. Yeah, you know he, he, those ocean movies were dope. Didn't he do uh, Three Kings after that <sighs> with Ice Cube and Marky Mark? Yeah, that's a great cast. <laughs> it's a good movie though. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad. I do like George Clooney because I, I he's like uh, I don't know I just I feel like he's a great actor. He. Uh, you know what you're going to get with George Clooney. Yeah, but I feel like he's very versatile. He can come yeah. off as of like a stupid, bumbling idiot and play it very well and come off as like a debonair, suave dude, do that very well. Yeah, you know, like I said, though, you know what you're going to, you know he's going to. He's going to give you that cheesy smile. He's going to give you, he's, he's going to give you just, just enough. Oh, just going to dangle just, the carrot. Just enough. He's dangle the carrot he's, on me, he's not gonna, George. He's not going to be holding an Oscar anytime soon, but he's going to. Yeah, right. He, he's gonna, you know what you're in for. The yeah. ladies are going to swoo, drop their panties. Yeah. Just and, like uh, you know if you're watching a Liam Neeson movie, he's going to have a run of, he's going to have a couple talks in the middle of the movie. That's going to be. His sweet auction. That's you know, more George Clooney. Like in Ted with the when he's getting the cereal box. The I, that's one of my favorite scenes of all time. When he comes back at the end of the movie, he's got the shit beat out of him. And he just puts the box back on the counter. <laughs> the counter. And you won't be telling anyone about this. They say it's only for kids. <laughs> that was a great scene. <laughs> See him too, like un- unintentional. Like obviously, yeah. he was trying for comedy there. Yeah. There was a. Uh, God, I'm trying to remember the show. I don't know if it was. So the guy who played Willow, was it Warwick? Yeah. I can't think of his name. Warwick Davis? Yes. He had a show, a great, probably not a lot of people have seen it. It was a great comedy show on HBO. It was like, um, kind of like the office type. Like they knew the cameras around, like Warwick Davis was filming a documentary and like well aware of the cameras and it was like his day to day operations and it Not was sure. uh Ricky Gervais and uh the other guy that he does comedy stuff with the tall, skinny, lengthy yeah. lengthy dude with the glasses. And Liam Neeson had a great skit in that where he was like, I wanna do improvisational comedy. <laughs> And you need to watch this skit because it just his demeanor and his seriousness because the guy's like, oh, like we're starting. And he's, it's just funny. He's like, <laughs> he's like, we're going to do some improvisational comedy. He's like, ask me a question. He's like, oh, hi, how are you? How are you, John? He's like, I don't know you. We've never met before. <laughs> he just totally changes it up. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, let's start again. So then they start again and he's like, Oh, how you been? He's like, I have testicular cancer. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, that's not really like funny. It was just the way it was shot. It was, it was fucking beautiful comedy. I absolutely loved it. Do you remember now we just got to find out what the name of the show is, huh? Yes. You want to Google it? Yeah. All right. We'll Google it quick. We'll send you off on the, uh, the old trip. <sighs> But yeah, I found it was funny as fuck. I think Johnny Depp had a cameo in it. It was good, 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 good comedy. You get those weird like comedy shows. Do you did you ever watch Dice? The Andrew Dice Clay. Life's too short. That's it. Yeah. Two thousand eleven. Damn, that long ago. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, if you're bored, give it a watch. Uh, it's funny as fuck. Rapture Palooza came out in uh, 2013. 
So we've been kicking it old school tonight. Maybe when Kayla gets back next week, she'll bring some youth into this fucking show. She's going to have to bring the juice because we've missed her juice. for the last month. Get the she squeeze. Hasn't show. She hasn't been on the show for a month. She's not in that. A month. Because her back's hurting carrying this family. You're back in the saddle. Let's go. Shout out. Love you guys. Thanks for listening. We'll keep, as uh, long as you guys listen, we'll keep plugging these out. Could have said it better myself. For Jeff, I am Sean. Thank you once again for coming in to another fun-filled episode of The Gentleman's Den. Don't forget to go to Kicks and Canvas underscore 223 on Instagram. Check out all of Jeff's work. Also, go to Kicks and Canvas on YouTube to huh. see how they're made, baby. And, of course, Small Town Infamous. The Unselfish Mind, and uh, anything else you want to go check out of mine, they're all over the place. Let's go. Once again, thanks again for listening. We'll be back next week with, yeah. an, uh, with another episode, possibly a guest. Maybe not. We don't know. We're flying by the seat of our pants here. One laundry basket of booze at a time. Let's hey, go. <laughs> and if you want to be a guest on the Gentleman's Den, just shoot us an email at the gentleman's den pod cast at gmail.com or DM us on Instagram at TGD pod. Yes. And then, yeah, we'll get you on. Let's go. We got some people. We got some people that want to be on, but we just got to line up time. We're crunching some numbers, you know? Yeah. We can't pay you, but we'll, <laughs> we'll get you drunk. And you'll tell us all your secrets. See you next week. Peace.